What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Minute Monday. Roll the intro. Today is the first episode of Minute Monday, and today I am bringing you a Photoshop tutorial of now. This is a great tutorial, and let me know if you want more of these Minute Mondays. They will come every Monday, and let me know what uh, comes next. Okay. And have it between, have it at a high round number. I wouldn't recommend going 100%, but I also wouldn't recommend going 1% either. So up here in the 70s, 80s, 60s, one of them is good. Change the quality if you must, then click OK, let Photoshop do its thing. <coughs> and as you can see, it does the blur, but you can tell none of it is in focus. So what you want to do is click this mask button down here on the blur layer. Click the brush tool and make sure it's on black. And what you want to do is to, like, if you want, you can get your shoes as well. If you're doing like some a picture with somebody in it, now just go around on whatever you want to be in focus. And as you can see, boom, the picture is done. Now this is all you need to do. And you click the file, export, and export it to whatever you do. Put it on the gram, get the likes. Now you're probably asking, Andrew, what about if I have a picture like this where there's no actual leading lines? Well, you just do the same thing. You unlock the layer, hold alt, drag down to copy it, go back to the top layer, filter, and this time, if you just did it, then it will be up here so you can do it again and it will have the same values as before put on this picture and we're going to let Photoshop do its thing and boom now for this picture click the mask option mask layer right there and for this picture I would suggest uh, you can use the bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller but I would suggest uh, brushing over the kayak because you know if you're if you was actually uh, and you can you can actually just switch the colors back if you want to like to, to bring it back to the blur but uh, switch please <laughs> um, but this one makes sense, and it will it will give the illusion that it's real, in the sense of like if it was real life, the kayak wouldn't be going, wouldn't be blurred if you was in the kayak going this fast. Now I could do it up here as well if you want. But there you go. That's the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you don't. Uh, let me, thank you guys so much for watching. Live happy, die peacefully. Bro.